Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mason Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at a comment from a previous video on how to make clean selections in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm not going to try and pronounce this. So the question is, lots of times, you know, you'll get a key that dances around a bunch because of noisy or compressy footage. How do you deal with that? And, um, you know, this person that I'm going to try even less to pronounce said, you know, rarely works. Well, I'll show you something. So we've got the same footage as before. I'm going to hit Alt S and add a film grain effect in here just so we can make this really crazy. So we can go opacity way up, uh, texture up, saturation all the way up, uh, grain strength way up. So now no one's going to say that this isn't noisy footage. This is pretty stinking noisy. So what would this look like with a normal selection? We'll go ahead and try and key our skin out here. Click in get our qualifier tool, click and drag, hit shift eight so we can see our selection. And there we go, that's looking okay. Width down, center, sort of around, blur it, and it's got this really noisy, dancey key. All right, so how do we fix that? What we're going to do is add two serial nodes. And in this first one, what we're gonna do is hit shift H. You don't even need to hit shift H. We'll just hop over to our blur tab. We'll blur this all the way to heck. So keep blurring it until you can see right now, things aren't really dancey very much. Then in the next one, we're going to key this blurred selection. So hit shift H, you can see our key and bring our width down, move this around until we're getting the face keyed out, sort of like we were wanting you can see it's still dancing a bit, but it's much less than before. You can blur it out some. And you know, that's looking pretty decent. So now this is not the final image that you want to deliver to your client. So what you're going to do is bring these down, rearrange things a bit, clean up your workspace, and we'll add a corrector node after this with Alt S. Then disconnect our blur section, reconnect it up. So now we are outputting so now we're bypassing this blurred and keyed selection and we're just outputting the image from beforehand. And now we can take the alpha output, which is this blue square here, and bring it into the alpha input of our good footage. And now if we hit Shift H, you can see it's taken you know, the inverse of the key. So invert that over in our key tab. And now we've got a keyed section with no power window yet. That's rocking and rolling. So you can, of course, add a power window, just like we did in the previous tutorial. And drop that on. And that will get rid of those other little sections out there. And now you've got a clean-ish key with noisy footage. You know, there's still these other things in there. But it makes stuff a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and just show that it works. Bring the gain up, gamma up, lift down a bit, make her pop out a bit. Do an overall correction here, make a little bit more contrasty. This is really noisy footage, but we'll say we like that. And then you can see what it looks like without the qualifier. See, it pops your skin right out. And now you very easily made a not jumpy aroundy selection inside Resolve. So if we turn this blur off and then we go over and we turn off our qualifier, you can see, I mean, we're basically just keying the entire shot here. It's kind of blurred around, but we're not very selective. If we turn these back on and blur this back, I believe it was at about two. Now we've got our decent selection back. So that is how you, or at least how I deal with keying really noisy footage inside Resolve. So it's pretty simple. You just got to do a little bit of thinking outside the box. You can't just use the blur tool inside of your qualifier because that blurs the key after it's been keyed. And here we're blurring the image before it's been keyed. So that's how we're able to get rid of the noise. So anyway, I hope you liked this tutorial. Hope it helped out. Hope that you can now make all sorts of great selections because you know, sometimes you will get noisy footage and really demanding directors. And if you can be the one that solves that problem for them, 
you're their guy and you can just keep charging them forever. And, you know, money is fun. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Meast Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out meastmedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of stuff to make your life easier, just like this tutorial. So, you know, you can add a LUT to this at the end from the Swiss LUTs pack. We'll get something easy. Golden background will be cool for this. Yeah. Now it's fall time. Look at that. Cool shot. Now it's it's cool retro and not noisy retro. Right? That's what we'll say. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because, you know, everyone's got their noisy footage. And once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.